What's up YouTube? You are now tuned into The Star Life and today I have an unboxing video for you guys. You guys are watching me in my most natural habitat. It is like noon and I do not feel like doing a video right now. However, I am like a small child during Christmas time. I cannot wait to crack into my gifts. Quick little disclaimer, I apologize ahead of time if there are any curse words in this video that offend you. There is a piece in here that is one of my most sought after pieces in the entire world so I'm excited to crack into it. If curse words offend you, then click off the video because you might get a slew of them in this video. Basically, there's there's only one or two pieces in the entire world that I would probably want more than the jersey in this box. You guys watching at home might not understand why, but if you are from a town that is basically not LA, New York, or any of those big towns that have tons of gear like repping them, then you guys would understand. The piece in here reps my city. I have a lot of love for Tacoma, Washington, as you guys know, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to crack into it. Before I get into it, of course, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. This video has been brought to you by the homie Zach Fajardo. That is F A J. A-R-D-O. Quick little side tangent, whenever I see J's that are pronounced like H's, it kind of makes me smile because it makes me think of my Hispanic grandmother who passed away due to cancer. When I was a young little lad in the streets and she used to watch me, she used to always call me Jacob. And now my white grandmother and my mama still to this day call me Jacob. But yeah, anyway, so it always kind of makes me smile. And this dude just makes me smile because he's a really good, genuine dude. He's really kind-hearted and whenever you come across genuine people, of course that makes you happy. But before I get into any more details about him, I actually need to turn a little bit to the left and turn this black and white because you know it's not that important or that serious unless it's black and white and you're not looking at the screen. But like I said, this is a good, genuine, kind-hearted individual. I actually offered him three times what he paid for this jersey. He got it for 16 bucks and I offered him $48 because I really wanted it and it was a really important piece to me. And he actually said no. He said he'll send it to me for free. He didn't charge me the shipping. He actually sent me another piece in here and I just cannot say thank you enough. Seriously, man, if you are watching this, I really appreciate it. It's really, really dope that you are a subscriber and supporter of the channel and that you just sent this out of pure kindness. Like, I seriously cannot say thank you enough. I will definitely leave links to his Instagram below. Definitely go check dude out. I will be doing some trips to the thrift with him in the future because he finds some heat in the thrifts. He's always sending me text messages of stuff that he finds and I need to find out where this dude thrifts. And he's just a good, genuine dude and I always surround myself with good, genuine people. If you guys haven't noticed, of course, today's unboxing tool will be the all gold switchblade, mobster style, you already know. I actually started unboxing it, as you guys can see, but the seal is not cracked. Basically, I started unboxing it because I was super excited, and then uh, I realized I needed to do a video, and I needed to stop myself, so I stopped myself right before I cracked the seal. So now, I'm finally going to crack this seal, as you guys can see. You know, cut this little bitch open, open the box. I'm pretty excited, guys. I'm pretty fucking nervous, actually. All right, getting into the transcript first. It reads, What up, Jacob? I hope your eagerness has finally ended. Not quite. I'm still moments away from cracking into the item of a lifetime for me. So I'm still a little eager. But anyways, um, I spent that good money on these items. I know this is going to a good home. So when you come back, we are doing a video. Oh, may I be a part of HFV from your boy, Zach. On the back, it reads, P.S. Sorry for the bad folding. You already know we're doing a video. I already told you you need to take me to these spots. And also, of course, bro, bro, it's HFV, high fashion vintage. If you are with the movement HFV, definitely rep. Rep that shit. But yeah, once again, bro, I really appreciate it. Now let's crack these items because I'm just too eager and too excited to get into these. This first piece, um, I actually am not quite sure what this is. Um, he didn't really tell me he was saying this. But it's pretty dope. It's like a stripe button down short sleeve which is actually super dope because I haven't even told him this but I've actually been looking for a dope short sleeve it is what the fuck this dude just sent me a fucking ball main hold up hold up I know I just said ball main I know a lot of people are probably freaking out right now because they're like ready to comment and say oh no it's pronounced ball man well to be completely honest I could give two shits how it's pronounced I don't care if it's ball main ball man or fucking tootsie roll this dude just sent me a fucking ball main button up Oh my Jesus balls. This dude just sent me a ball main fucking button down, short sleeve, striped. Oh my fucking, I, I'm like at a loss for words. Jesus motherfucking Christ. Um, I'll show you guys this real quick. This is, what the fuck? As you guys can see right there, ball main Paris. This is definitely more fancy than my normal shit. Ball main stuff goes for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I am like fucking amazed right now that he included this in here. He didn't even tell me he was gonna send this. This is just like a random inclusion. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit balls. I still cannot get over the fact that this dude just sent me ball main. Oh my Jesus Christ. Like you guys watching at home, you guys might know me. You guys know I am into like a little bit higher of street fashion, but I definitely do not normally cop ball main. I'm really curious if this was thrifted. If this was thrifted, then once again, dude, you need to show me where the fuck you thrifted this at because that is fucking sick. Like it's really, really dope. It's already a really dope, simple, 
like short sleeve button down but the fact that it's ball main is super super cool i really wonder if it'll fit me i have no idea let's check damn this actually fits perfectly which is really really amazing and kind of weird that it fits so good um damn dude this is so dope i just cannot say thank you enough like i'm telling you guys this guy didn't charge me this guy didn't tell me he was including this this guy literally just included it like that is so rare when you come across people like that. I cannot say thank you enough. This is fucking dope. I almost need to call my mom. I cannot believe this dude just sent me a ball main button down. Like, what the fuck? I really wish I could call my mom right now and tell her because whenever I get, like, dope things and I always call my mom. And uh, I'm just a huge mama's boy. But whatever. Anyways, it's cool. If you're watching this at home, make sure you love your mother. Holy fucking shit. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just can't help it. Like, this dude is just... <sighs> fuck. Um, anyways... Into the piece that I was actually expecting, which is this really, really dope Tacoma Rockets hockey jersey. As you guys can see, it says Tacoma Rockets. If you do not know what Tacoma is, Tacoma is my birthplace where I was born and raised. The greatest city in the nation, in my personal opinion. You have the Tacoma Dome right here. This is all embroidered. As you can see, it's in this really dope colorway. It's all black, and then it's got this, like, teal, white, and red striping, like, all the way around it. As you can see, it is a CCM jersey. This thing is in perfect condition, like... The white is super clean, which is amazing. And what's dope is that this normally comes in two colorways. It comes in a white and black. And of course, you guys know me personally, I would much rather have the black than the white because I'll mess the white up. This is something I can actually wear on a regular basis and I don't have to worry about messing it up because the white is so small on it. Size medium, it will fit. Let's just get a close-up of this embroidery because this is like monumental for anyone from Washington. If you are from the Tacoma area, you know for a fact that this thing is pure fire. As you can see, Tacoma Rockets right there. You got the Tacoma Dome. This is a really, really dope embroidery. The colorway, of course, even if you aren't from Tacoma and you don't understand, you guys know for a fact this colorway is pure fire. Super, super sick. The last piece he sent me is something that I normally wouldn't wear, actually. It's something that he actually sent me a picture of and he asked, like, yo, do you want this? And I said yes. And uh, normally I don't really wear, like, basketball jerseys, but this actually says something on it that is kind of, like, sentimental to me, which says Foss across the front, and then it just has the number five, and this is in the Foss High School colorway. Foss is actually named after Thea Foss, and the waterway in Tacoma is called the Thea Foss Waterway. But, um, anyway, so this kind of is, like, sentimental to me, especially since it didn't have, like, any other name on it besides just the Foss High School name. And it was in the Foss High School colorway, and I actually used to live off of 38th Street in Tacoma, 38th and Tyler to be exact, which is not too far from Foss High School. And I just remember as a kid, whenever, like, 4th of July would come, we would sit on our balcony and we would watch, like, the fireworks in Cheney Stadium. We were way too poor to actually go to Cheney Stadium and afford to watch the fireworks show. But luckily from our apartment complex, we could see the fireworks when they would go up in the sky. And Cheney Stadium is, like, right by Foss High School. And whenever you go up that way, like Snake Lake and all that shit, you see like the big F-O-S-S -S on the hillside. And if you haven't been there, you wouldn't understand, but basically this is just a really sentimental piece for me, and I really appreciate him looking out and uh, recognizing that this is going to be a piece that I would want and uh, sending it to me. Basically, this unboxing is like the perfect high fashion vintage like representation. As you can see, I'm wearing ball main right now, high fashion as fuck. And then you have two really dope vintage pieces, high fashion vintage. HFV. I can seriously not say thank you enough. Thank you, Zach. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. I'm really excited to get back to Washington and hit these thrifts with you. You already know I'll meet you out in Bremerton. You can come out to Tacoma, go thrifting with me and my homies. Like, seriously, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. I apologize for any curse words that were slewed out of my mouth. I don't even think that's a word, slewed, but whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys will see two of these items incorporated into Outfit of the Days. Anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button below. Turn that gray thumb blue. When you are finished hitting that like button, it should be about the color of these, like, light lighter stripes going down this ball main button down. Also leave a comment down in the comment section below on what your favorite piece was and if you are from Washington definitely give me your opinions on that Tacoma hockey jersey because that thing is sick. Like I said big thank you to Zach, big thank you to all my viewers. I really appreciate all you guys support. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep living the star life.